Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome to another installment of the Xfinity Championship Mode. Oh my god, we just finished up the Truck Championship Mode yesterday. I know my schedule's a little wonky, but we have to do this. This is Chicagoland, the Camping World 300, and I am looking at a potential championship run. Maybe, maybe. So, yes, we're starting 17th, but I have a gut feeling that when I was practicing, all the uh, the cars I was running around with, we are actually on pace. Qualifying doesn't mean crap. It's all about race pace, and I think we have it. What's up, Nero? How are you doing today? Uh, we have David. We have Cowboy. Cowboy, sorry that you missed your league race. Don't worry about it, man. Internet issues happen. Don't worry about it. And David, thank you so much for checking that out. I know you fell asleep last night, but I know we're here. Of course, regular stuff all around. Uh, the only thing I changed is the front sway bar. Um, this is default all around. So hopefully we can actually do some some wonders here. It's Chicagoland. I know how to run this track, but it's all about how the AI race me. So here we go. Let's get it. The AEW pay-per-view, nice man. I want to see you do the sprint car game just for fun. That's what people were talking about. Like, it's actually, uh, it sounds like it's actually pretty fun. And by the way, Monster, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. And I will definitely try. AI is definitely hard around here. And then with only using uh, default setups, it is going to be, well, hard. <laughs> but I know we can do it. Can't cross uh, before the start finish line, so we can actually Careful, start looking there. at the inside now. Let's see what we can do. Oh, they left the Careful. bottom wide open. A little bit loose though, but not a big deal. Rayback Jr. A huge checkup coming from the high side, and that is just going to open the door for us up here. Ooh, there we go. That's how we do it. AI are dumb. Yeah, tell me about it. And I saw that Jeffrey Earnhardt was actually, like, massively on the pace. They're on fire. Well, we'll be the judge of that because, oh, we're about to go four wide. Yep, I'm backing out of that. Oh, now we're actually three wide. Brandon Brown to the inside. Brandon Jones. I'm surrounded by Brandons. My name's Brandon. We had three Brandons side by side. Let's stop that. Let's get uh, Tommy, uh, Tommy in here. Are they on the outside? Oh, on the sprint car game. Oh, well, well, makes sense. I, it's made by uh, Monster uh, Games, which made uh, the Heat franchise from one to four. So, like, eh. I don't know why I said the Heat franchise like that. <laughs> it is only one to four right now, so it makes sense. All right, but here we go, though. But is it fun, though? That's the question. Is it fun? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Yep. That's us. You know what they say. Three is always a crowd. What's up, TA? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, man. We are a beast in one and two. Outside, outside. Ooh, but kind of kind of get choked up right there. Branding? Yeah, you, I guess you can say that. Stay low. There we go. Get in front of Garrett Smith right here, as you do. Brandon branding other Brandons. Oh, my God. Okay, let's, uh, enough of that. Can barely, uh, around all the, uh, the brandings going on here. But, yeah. Up into 13th here. I'm definitely okay with this. Now, for anyone that uh, missed it, we did the uh, finish up the truck championship mode uh, yesterday. I like to say we had a very good season. Yes, we didn't win the championship, but we came in third. Literally, when I total on up the uh, averaging finishing position of everyone, I am pretty dang sure Brett Mopp and Stuart Friesen are literally in the top five. We had a top 10 uh, average finish, but I'm pretty dang sure they had a top five. Dang, Ray Black Jr., what are you on right now? All right, well, he's on the inside. Got to give him room. Uh, 
Yeah, how is everyone doing today? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. What is everyone up to today? Reddit boy crash? Uh, well, I mean, the thing is, Chase Briscoe was doing that to himself. I mean, dude, he's one of my favorite drivers in Xfinity, but he was driving the ever-loving god out of that car. There was no way that he was not crashing. He <laughs> just got done racing with you in Apex. Oh, yeah, of course. Glad to... I was glad to race with you, monster. I mean... Never met you before. It was nice to meet you. Definitely should do that more often. Ooh, duh. Yeah, that definitely uh, choked up the track a little bit. It was not the exit I wanted. So, right now, it's just a matter of... Ooh. Yeah, this thing... This... This entire track is just a thing for, uh, tire wear. So we'll have to keep an eye out on that. Okay, so let's start thinking towards the future. Um, we have 45, about, uh, laps to go on in fuel, okay? So let's kind of let's kind of break it on back here. We have about a 55 lap run. This is gonna be a nice and easy th three stop as I just hit the apron there. That's gonna allow Josh Williams to uh, get on by. Can't make mistakes like that. Nice easy three stop. Now, with that being said, we do need to make adjustments because my car is not the best. Looking at Christopher Bell all the way back there in 20th. He looks like he crashed. We, which I never, that doesn't make much sense. Like, I don't know why the, uh, the note in the very beginning says he crashed when he had a time that was faster than mine. But whatever. Um, it says he crashed and is uh, was sent to the back. So because of that, there he is, making his way forward. He is currently third in the standings, if I recall correctly. I need to, I need to get my uh, standings back up in order because I was so focused on the truck championship, I forgot where I was at and everyone else. So I want to say, well, I know I'm in fourth. I know that. I forget where he was, though. I want to say it was somewhere in third. It was third or uh, fifth, because I'm fourth right now. And I'm 30 points out of the lead. So I definitely need to start stepping it up. But after this race, we're going to the uh, road course section, and I know I can make up a lot of points there. So we're not out of the woods. We're, we're not done and dusted quite yet. Not yet, at least. Who is that? What's Moxley? Chat, you know I don't watch any other sports besides uh, good old racing, so no idea what you're talking about. Ooh, barely kissed the wall. The thing is, with Chicagoland, it's so different than, like, Kansas or Vegas um, because the turns are just so free-floating that literally it is an actual pain in order to, uh, you have to be, like, off throttle for so long. Like, this is probably the best corner I've took so far. Three and four is a little better. 
preach it. I have no idea what you guys are even talking about. How am I supposed to preach? What's going on? Someone let me know. I'm in the dark here. Alright, so we're clear up ahead of me. Justin Allgaier, who is now going to be the points leader because first and second was separated by one point. Tyler Rennick versus Justin Allgaier. Justin Allgaier is now in the lead. We have to actually... Well, we have to do something here, plain and simple. We need to have some of that Brett Moffat luck where he DNFs twice in a row. Oh, that of a man of a culture, a racing culture. TA, yeah, are you starting to get that mannerism from me? Where I just say, like, ah, oh, a man of culture. Because I know I say that a lot. Are you picking that up from me? I see so many people in front of me. Spots ripe for the picking. And here I am in 15th. Actually, I say that I never... You say that? You never heard us saying that? What are you talking about? I say it all the time. Ah, a man of culture. But like, I say that all the time. David, do I say that all the time? David, back me up here. Mod. Don't worry. He'll get to he'll get it uh, here eventually. Who is that? Ryan Sieg. Okay, I need to be watching out for him. Because these guys are both catching me. Oh hell, I'm about to get banned. Well, no, no, no. I was just I'm just asking uh, David if he uh, has heard me um, ever say that because I say that like all the time. I will go down with my ship. All right, whatever you say, Captain. All right, so I'm going to last uh, about 30 laps on 60% uh, uh, tires. This is not going to go well. Well, good news, though, is that we're gaining time on chase, so there's that. Reddit boy, as uh, TA was calling him. Captain EJ Smith, order full speed. Ignore iceberg warning. There we go. You know, that's just what a proper person would do, you know? I mean, it only will kill 1,500 people. Still there. But we don't worry about that part. Still there. All right, so we get past uh, Chase Briscoe. There we go. Go ahead and just chop him off. You know, no big deal. He doesn't care. A small price to pay to make a ship more luxurious and cut out light boats. Yeah, exactly. CTA gets it. White Starline knew what they were doing. Clearly. Alright, so... I need to loosen up a little bit. Just a hair. And then put more tape on. Um, I want to say I can put 10, but I want to say we're, uh... I want to put 5% more tape on and see how we are. So, Chad, overall, what do you think of the race today? Why am I all of a sudden in uh, Titanic Salt mode? <laughs> well, because it doesn't make sense.
Because it doesn't make sense how uh, people uh, of like how the entire ship sank. Like the whole warning signs were there and just like, nah, we're not gonna, we're just gonna ignore it. It's fine, don't worry about it. So we're coming up on 13th now. So, chat, we are gaining. I Like I said, Jack Phillips, the radio operator. Hang on. Let me read the rest of that here on the backstretch. The radio operator who died even left an uh, ice belt warning. Ice belt warning on his desk. Well, I mean, duh. I mean, they were warned about it, like, fair in advance. But they're, no, they're just like... Now we gotta keep ahead of schedule. It would make headlines. Careful, still there. Careful, still there. All clear. Get up ahead of Gray Golding. Kind of get up ahead of him. I just said that twice. I don't know why. We have our teammate in front of us. We are really loose going into uh, the final corner. <laughs> Reddit boy. Oh, no, he's all the way back there. We already passed him long ago. That was Greg Golden we just passed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, the race today was, eh? I mean, honestly, I really liked it. Like, there was some good racing. Apart from, like, the end of uh, the second stage, where it was just a bunch of cautions. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Noah Gragson threw a really, really bad block. Like, terra bad. It wasn't even a block. He tried to merge and literally just turned right right into Ross. Uh, so Noah Gregson, while on a restart, threw uh, a really bad move on Ross, who had the high line, and Noah had the bottom line. So naturally, naturally there was a... Uh, a bit of a divide because you know the uh, high line is so good around Auto Club. So here we are, moving at like easily like five five to ten miles per hour faster than uh, Noah, and then Noah comes up in front, clobbers the left uh, the left front of uh, Ross, and then. And then Ross then proceeds to turn left and spin Noah, which then collects him and puts him in the wall. He finishes 26th. What's up, thieves? How are you doing today? And are we going to ignore the fact what? Going to ignore the fact that uh, Sinjik went from uh, pitting with 20 to go to third? Well, yeah, he got lucky with a yellow. Noah's a maniac. What? I mean, who knows? Who knows what his spotter was saying, but it was just a really bad move. Are you secretly my uncle disguised as God tier? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Because he was watching Cindric the whole time. Oh, there, yeah, there we go. Oh, that did not work out at all. Stay high, stay high. I was really hoping to, uh... 
use Jeff Green as a pick there, but I guess that didn't happen. So, whatever. I'm excited for Auto Club tomorrow. I am too. Hopefully it's, it doesn't rain, because that's what I heard it's supposed to do. Stay low, stay low. All right, Christopher Bell. All clear. All right, that didn't work out. Top does not work. But yeah, I am too. What's up, Odux? How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. I think I said it last night, but thank you so much for the sub, my dude. Yeah, TA is in a very uh, titanic mood right now. I have no idea why. My cat is trying to get on top of my dresser. He's going absolutely nuts. Because remember, I have like this uh, double stack dresser. And he uses my desk chair to jump up on top of it. And he is going absolutely insane trying to get up there. Got a car high now. He's figuring it out. He's getting a little help. Ah, he'll, he'll figure it out. All right, so what are we looking at here? Uh, 15 more laps. Okay, we're going to be good. There's replicas of the Titanic. What? Careful, get to the outside of Caesar. Full, full scale replicas. No, nah. All right, so what are we looking at here? So we're sitting in P11 right now. Okay. Mamma mia, chat. Chat's going so fast, I can't even... Can't even look. There we go, he figured it out. I have so much going around, but chat moving fast, and I have, uh... My cat, uh... Going on top of his dresser. I, I, I said his dresser, that's not his, that's mine. I mean, it's basically his at that point. Titanic 2, uh, or sorry, could you imagine, though, if there was a, uh, full-scale replica? I mean, I know there was a such thing as Titanic 2. And it's still a thing. Whoop. Nice little shot right there. Yeah, it'd be a modern-day replica, like an Olympic style. Yeah, I heard it was uh, coming up here soon, actually. Main voyage in 2022, apparently. Huh. But yeah, I know it's been like a thing for over a decade, but still, it doesn't change the fact that, hey, we have another Titanic coming. Careful, still there. 
Hold your line. Stay high. I'm still waiting for the main voyage of my drone I got yesterday. Yeah, how did that go? All right, clear low. What are you gonna do? Still reading on the legalities. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you don't want to do something accidentally illegal. Well, I mean, like, can't you just like take it to a park and just be fine with it, or? Is there more stuff than that? Or am I too uh, casual with my, uh, with a drone? Ha, you filthy casual. If, if you live within a certain radius of an airport? Oh yeah. Well, do you live like uh, close to an airport there, David? It's like five miles from a military base. And my town has certain airspace restrictions. Okay. All right, I was just thinking it was just gonna be as uh, simple as uh, going to like an, uh, like a wooded area and you're good, you know? Just get some uh, shots of some trees. All right, chat, well, I'm planning on uh, pitting here within the next five laps. Car there on the inside. Still there. All clear. I looked up a few years ago where I thought uh, about investing in one, and then I thought, oh, hell not. We go like, cause it's so expensive or? No, no, I totally get you. You gotta be careful, my dude. I 100% get it. You don't want a quarter of a million dollar fine for like no gosh dang reason. There's Jeffrey Earnhardt. Pit stops are happening right now. I feel like I should wait. Take it a later. Take it a little bit later. Inside. You got room. You're clear. There we go. Ryan C. Done and dusted. Because if a caution comes out, this is really going to help us. We have John Ernimichek going uh, into the pits now. Austin Cindric takes over. There's your Penske boy, David. But yeah. Was anyone else, like, really? Uh, was anyone else actually really uh, upset at the amount of times that there was a Kim, Kim Burton cam the entire, like, Xfinity race? Yes, we get it. Your, your son won, but, like, gosh dang. All right, next time, next time. Let me know when you pit. Well, it's gonna be next time, man. Like, every time. Like, every time Harrison Burton did something, there was Kim Cam. Every week, too. Yes, we get it, Kim Burton's there. Yes, she's very animated. Don't need anything else from it. All right, so put this up, lower this, 
Uh, a little bit less than that. Bring that down just a hair. And see how we do from here. In, 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 in. You know race is boring when a driver's mom has all the cameras on her. But it was good, though. When it wasn't on Kim, there was stuff all over the field. Like, literally, while uh, there was a picture for um, the lead, um, they did an interview with Anthony Alfredo. His a race with uh, Justin Haley was going back and forth. Like, they were constantly swapping. Swapping positions. Like, it was insane battles. But they never showed it. What's up, Smitten? Uh, Smitten, how are you doing today? But yeah, you can't tell how good of a race it is when Kim Cam is, and I think that just comes down to Fox, honestly. You know? So Cole Custer is now in the lead. Chad, I was in some online lobbies with uh, with a Mr. Mad Monster and uh, Exotic Apex here, and. Um, <laughs> We had a lobby where there was seriously seven coal custers, and it was, what the heck is going on here, you know? I know that it's like the default um, Xfinity driver, but like, dude, at least change it to your favorite guy. The Highland doesn't work in Chicago? Not at all. No, it's uh, bottom or nothing. It's nerf or nothing. Yellow flag. Ooh, okay. Eighteen cars on the lead lap. Well, we just pit, so there's no reason for us to pit here. So, yeah, there are seven cold custers. Seven. Also, you notice how they were advertising a basketball game when Riley Herbst was making a move on Cindric. Oh yeah. I mean, well, the thing is, you know, they were going over in time, so they were just like, "Don't worry, we're going to college basketball." You know. Don't worry, we're going. Jeremy Clemens gets back on the lead lap, by the way. Where is our boy? Austin Hill, last. Good talk. He was doing really good. He was having a career night. And then all of a sudden, bam. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready. Green down, let's go. Got a car low now. Oh, yeah. Chat, I'm feeling the flow. Careful, still there. Oh, come on. Oh, Tyler, I was trying to help you on out, but I guess not. Got a car low now. Oh, we have four wide right now. I am in the wall. Inside. Got one inside. That is. That was not very cash money of him. There's four wide. There's nowhere I can go. I was in. I was already by the wall. Stay high. Stay high. Got a car low now. You're all clear on the bottom. Damn, man, that was that was our moment right there to get into the top ten. Well, we were in the top ten actually. But I okay, whatever. You know. Move forward with our lives. I wonder who Halo, DNFs. Halo. Can't. All clear. Oh, Brandon Brown, that's who it was. Okay. But still, four wide there. That was insane. I mean, yes, it resulted in us uh, getting to the wall, but I mean, at least uh, in this game, we don't get tire rubs, so we don't have to worry about that. Where did uh, Ryan Seek finish? Fourth. Still there. Yeah, he was he was doing super good. Like he honestly is gonna make uh, the round of eight this year. I am calling it now. He is doing really well this season. Careful, still there. Stay low. 
He needs to win. Well, the thing is, okay, in the Xfinity series, there's like only like 14 drivers that have the ability to win on any given week. I think he can honestly point his way in. Because if you're better than Jeremy Clements and Brandon Brown, that's 12 right there. I mean, that's the unfortunate thing with the Xfinity series. I thought it was going to be a lot more competitive than what it actually was, or what's actually turning out to be. That, um... That it's going to be, like, basically the same 12 drivers. Or same 12 teams, let me rephrase that, as last time. Ryan Seek especially is going to get in a better position, though. There's not a lot of cup drivers who can win, though. Well, yeah, because Kyle Busch is, like, the only one that actually races the Xfinity Series. That being said, I know Brad Keselowski is actually uh, racing ISM next week, so there's that. But honestly, that just kind of makes the Xfinity Series even that much better. Honestly, my series to watch is the trucks. With the bounty on Kyle Busch's head. I, well, I say that like he's actually going to be, like, shot and killed. No, the bounty that's on Kyle Busch to, uh, it makes me look at the truck series because I, I've counted. The truck series is stacked this year, and I am so happy it is. It is a lot of fun to watch them, uh, do what they do on a weekly basis. And it sucks that there's only 23 races in this series. SHR, Hendrick, Penske, Ganassi, RCR. Well, you're talking about Cup, right? Because I was talking Xfinity. Because Ganassi's no longer a thing. Okay, yes and... Okay, well, see, I thought we were talking Xfinity. But yeah, you're right. Dang, we left these guys in the dust. Now I'm just saying in the Cup Series, isn't that much more competitive? It's an equipment gap. Well, yeah, and then that's what the Xfinity Series is as well. It's very much an equipment gap. And it's very abrupt, too. Here's Greg Alding. Okay. Going to see if we can get by him here on the next lap. Going to get side by side here. Ooh, no contact. That was clean racing right there. And yeah, we're going to get the job done right here. Kind of got stuck like glue. Outside, outside. Well, I guess not. All the way to the wall. Well, and even then, like the numbers on each team is significantly less from Cup because, like, you know, JGR has four full-time, three in the Xfinity. SHR, full four-time, one in uh, Xfinity. Yeah, exactly. You uh, have, uh, you're, you're, we're on the same wavelength, TA. I mean, it's all about the equipment gap, but even then, I still want to see it because, like, it's still a battle between those top 12, you know? Whether it be top 12 or not, I still love the series, you know? And I'm look I look forward to it whenever it's on. Not going to detract me from watching it.
All right, so 75 laps are coming up right now. Chad, we are already almost halfway done with this race. Mamma mia, where is the time going? Time flies when you're having fun, right? I just hope this doesn't uh, make Risco uh, look like a racing god and he gets too much pressure too early. Well, the thing is, I mean, look at the... This was a conversation earlier as well. Look at the cup rookies this year. The cup rookies are absolutely struggle busing. They are not doing so well. Cole Custer, you know, Christopher Bell, who we, who, I'm not saying we, because I called it from the very get-go, um, who is literally a Xfinity prodigy, is nowhere. What's up, Alpha? Leaving lurk, but we'll be back. Oh, don't worry, man. We'll be here. Thanks for letting me know. Ooh. Yeah, that's not that's not the corner right there. But yeah, even assuming that he gets the seven wins to get in there. Yeah, well, n no, he didn't. Uh, he may have cracked the top ten, but he was like a 20th place car. <laughs> lurking for the win. Yeah, David, I know. Take Taking some strats out of uh, Griffin's book. Trying to get our teammate right here. But yeah, assuming, that's even assuming he gets the seven wins uh, that would give him a cup ride. Well, actually, I read somewhere that he is looking for seven wins just to keep his ride. But yeah, I call this from, uh, I, I call this from the very get-go that the, uh, like, in the off-season, you could quote me, look at my streams and quote me, that there would be a significant dip in the, uh, in the rookie's, uh, quality. If anyone has a shot, it would be Cole Custer. I said that. And even then, Cole Custer is nowhere. None of the rookies are like anywhere near what they, what their teammates are doing, because there's such a huge learning curve from uh, Xfinity to Cup. It is total. It's like two different disciplines. In fact, you notice uh, John Hernimacek because he's performed so poorly. John Hernimacek is honestly like. Well, since he performed so poorly, he's there at the end. Because everyone else takes takes each other out. Tyler Reddick, I've seen flashes of brilliance. But, like, that's about it. But yeah, that is what I'd want to do. But honestly, I'm going to be honest here. I was rooting so hard for Daniel Hemrick. I think Daniel Hemrick is an Xfinity mainstay. And so is Daniel Suarez. Like, if Daniel Suarez would ever... If his sponsors would get off their high horse and go back to the Xfinity series, I think he'd tear up the uh, this place. But no, they want him in Cup. He got caught through wide, and then, uh, and then we never saw him. What, John Hunter or Tyler? Eris, the Ferrari of sponsorship. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you got put three wide. But the thing is, finished second in uh, stage. 
Or oh, sorry, bleh. He finished, what? Sixth in stage one, second in stage two. He had the car. Him and Olgar had the car, but Hemrick uh, got damaged from when he went three wide. And then Allgaier, oh my god, literally ran over a tire. Like, seriously, how was I not a caution? Allgaier literally ran over... Huh, but yeah, like, seriously, how was that not a caution? All guy are literally hitting a carcass and then okay the carcass of Brandon Jones's tire is what all guy are hit and then he oh uh, he finished 12 Ross Chastain who had damage from Noah Gragson yes he did turn into Noah to kind of get revenge he still finished eighth yeah, we're back now. Had a straight cutout moment right there. We good, we Gucci. Let me know if uh, if anything starts to dip though. So like, if you see anything uh, dipping in quality, let me know. That's usually a telltale sign that my internet's about to give out. It's like a sign of a stroke, you know? The apron in your car if you clip it. Hmm, what? Oh, Chicagoland, no. That, like, literally, if you hit uh, the apron here, it like literally like catapults you back up the track. I'll let you know if anything dips. Aw, oh, you son of a biscuit. You think you're funny. <laughs> so we have about 20 laps until we need a pit again. Uh, like I said, this is going to be an, uh, another... Uh, to stop her. I know I'm funny. I don't need your approval. <laughs> the best jokes are the ones I uh, you explain. I see. I heard the opposite, but you know what? I'll roll with it. So we're gaining on Brandon Jones now, so there's that. And then Josh Williams looks like he's in front of him. We're also coming up on lap traffic, so there's there's good news all around. Brandon Brown's out of this race, so there's the Brandon's that was uh, a problem originally when we went three wide, like on lap one. One of them's out of this race. Hopefully, I'm not the one that follows and with DNFing. You heard wrong. Who are you going to believe? People or your unofficial Spinala engineer? Yeah, by the way, when am I spinning? When I enter pit road next? Or am I spinning to cause a caution? Oh, T.A., by the way, speaking of that, T.A., uh, how many channel points are you at right now? Because Griffin's last time I checked was at, like, 22,000 or so. David was at, like, 14. What are you at? How many laps led? 12.4. Okay. Okay. So, to my knowledge, well, maybe Alex... 
Alex, you in here? I'm trying to figure out who has the most channel points. Because I know that 75k is gonna... You're gonna... Oh, that's a thing. I know that uh, 20, that uh, 75k is gonna hit me like an actual wrecking ball. Well, if everyone's pitting, I might as well pit. Mm, let's find out. Oh yeah, I should probably actually uh, pit after I literally just said it. Um, honestly, this car feels pretty dang good. I honestly don't think I need to do anything here. Uh, how did I lose a spot? We're going green. Almost ready. Green flag, green flag. Looking inside now. Okay. Going up top right here, seeing what can happen. We didn't quite work last time with Tyler Reddick, which, by the way, there he is. He threw a Noah Graxon kind of uh, block. Oh, wow, Chad. Look at that. Leave the top side open, and there we are. Now watch us lose it all right here. Not quite all, but... Ray Black Jr. is there. I gotta give him room. Yes, we are three wide. Still there. Okay, well that didn't work out. So it's very good in the short run, but it doesn't work in the long run. Okay, I need to get to the bottom. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. Justin Haley kind of jumping all over the place right there. Careful, still there. Bottom's looking good. That's the halfway mark. All right, halfway mark, Chad. That means. It's your favorite time of the day. Question of the daytime. If you could increase or decrease the playoff field, what would you make it to? Now, I'm not saying make it to zero, obviously. It's got to, it's, the playoffs still have to exist. So where, how many number would you have? Got a car low now. I well, I thought that was your fact of the day, right? There was ramen is the food of the gods. I'm clear. So, the question today, let me repeat it, is if you could increase or decrease the amount of playoff contenders in the cup, Xfinity, and truck level, what would you make it to? Now, you can't say zero because the playoffs still have to be a thing. Now, see? I know some of you are just like, ah, just get rid of it. Make it zero. No, that's not, that's not how this works. You actually like it where it is, David? Okay. So, like, here's the thing for me. I am looking at the truck level of racing that they have. Their playoff worked with eights. I would love 
for eight to be the all-around number. Especially in the Xfinity series, where like only 12 drivers, 12 to 14 can win on any given week. Why as well make it something hard to achieve, like eight. Where in a playoff system that focuses on winning, you need to win more than once in order to get into a playoff field of eight. There. You know what I mean? Alright, clear outside. Over tomorrow is the day after tomorrow. Man, that was a good movie. I'm fine with that, but instead of having multiple rounds, just one round, one knockout round. Really, that's actually a thing? Dang, David. Coming in with a found fact of the day. Overmorrow, dang. I didn't even know that was even a word. It sounds like some, like, anime attack. Over battle! Over drive! Or, like, something like that, you know? Got it. I probably just offended, like, the entire weeb community, but yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. Imagine Championship 16. Everyone wrecking everyone. Well, yeah, exactly. Don't have beef. I th I'm pretty sure I just uh, offended the entire weeb community by giving my best anime accent. K saying that Overmorrow sounds like an anime attack name. Just saying. That sounds like a Pokemon over Morrow. <laughs> oh no, you found a better fax? Oh, well, lay it on us. Oh, you like that chat? I had gotten a break right there in order to uh, get around Greg Golding, but we still make a little contact, just door banging. Careful, still there. Give him room. I'll give him room going to three. All clear. There we go. And now we have David's, what, third fact of the day right here, with first being ramen is a food of the gods, and now we have uh, the third fact incoming hot. Stephen Hawking once hosted a party of time travel. Wait, party for time travelers. He didn't send invites until after the fact. Ah. How did that work? When, when was this? That sounds like a history fact, man. Oh, there's Chase Briscoe right there. Halo, Halo. Use that side draft to bring him back to me. Clear high, bud. In 2009? Really? What were the results? I'm assuming no one came, right? Because that sounds... <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I totally expected that no one would come. Like, what was that supposed to do? Like, what was he honestly going to expect? 
like someone to actually show up. That's whoa. can you imagine? Can you imagine? And then you like you have the uh, you actually are having the party without invites showing up, uh, coming out, and then you just have this random person showing up. It's like, yeah, man, I was just here for the food. I mean, like, seriously. The one rando would show up, and then Stephen Hawking thinks that, oh my god, this guy's a time traveler. Show me your technology. And the guy's just like, what? Dang, man. But if you only send it to uh, certain people, that still doesn't disprove time travel. Well, I mean, because, like, what if there's, like, an actual, like, secret, like, time police? Because the experiment was clearly to prove that time travel exists, right? Got a car high now. Yeah, exactly. A very small sample size. We need more data. Chat, we... Okay, it sounds like what we need to do is set up a uh, party for time travelers. Or even... Or even if anyone's in chat is a time traveler, speak up now. Let us know. We won't tell anyone. Let's do it in a hot tub. Well, when I said it like that, I mean, it sound like something else, but yeah. Hot tub time machine. Well, that entire movie was just like really weird. God, I haven't seen that in forever. Careful, still there. Hold your line. Got one oh outside. yeah, we yeah. right, I'm not a time traveler, but it would be impossible to travel to the future and see yourself. I can, yep, I, well, I mean, I can see it. Well, I mean, ex explain, because I want to make sure I'm thinking the same thing as you are. Because here I am, because essentially you're removing yourself from the, from the current timeline, right? So you wouldn't be there in the future because oh, hello, your hello. present self isn't on the earth to age, right? I like how he prefaces it by saying that I wasn't a time... Now, I'm no time traveler, but I do know how it works. And that's what TA is doing right now. That's exactly something a time traveler would say. No, I'm not a time traveler, but... Still there. Oh, oh come on, Brandon Jones, let me go. Still there. No, chat, there was a very small moment where I thought Brandon Jones was just going to dominate this race. And then I realized, oh, it's just Brandon Jones, so we're fine. He's gonna find some way to mess it up, and a boy, howdy, was I right? Careful, still there. Car outside, hold your line. Well, this sucks. Stay low. Exactly, you removed yourself from the timeline, so you skipped ahead, but there's no alternative to live out your life. What was that movie with Adam Sandler that had a, uh, 
that had like a magic remote that would be able to pause, slow down, fast forward, or rewind time. When you're fed and want to go and want to go make another cup of ramen. Now, see, are we talking like like Maruchan uh, ramen, or are we talking like OG, like actual good ramen? Click, was it click? Okay, now see, that movie obviously disagrees, because remember, he fast forwards through his entire life. Still there. So you would have just disappeared and show up 30 years later and give your, uh, your now elderly friends a heart attack because they're now seeing someone that they presume to be, <coughs> be dead years ago. Now, now see, Marachan is all right in moderation. Don't make, don't get addicted, is what I'm trying to say. And David, it sounds like you're already addicted. Well, David, what do you expect? We're very philosophical beings. You know, I don't just race around uh, in NASCAR Heat 4 for no reason. We like to have philosophical talks. We are a very educated group. What do you think we are? Ha ha ha, engine go vroom vroom, turn left, ha ha ha. Is that what we did? Oh, I'm sure it is, yeah. 26 laps, did you actually count? <laughs> There's also philosophy involved, yeah. See, T.A. gets it. He gets the... He gets the finer arts of NASCAR. There's a finesse. Ugh. I'd like to get by these guys though eventually. Bush needs a bath. I don't want to. I don't want him to hate me. Well, see, it sounds like you need to get over it because you gotta do the benefit of the dog and not the benefit of you. He will eventually forgive you, as do all creatures. Well, that entire corner sucked. That did not go the way I thought it was going to go. Kyle Butch. No, Butch is, is his dog. You ever give your cat a bath? No, because they clean themselves. Cats are a very self-cleaning animal. They don't need it. They don't need human assistance. They don't need our dirty paws. I didn't go the way I thought I was going to. Oh, that's a wall right there. Sometimes cat needs bath and they get pissed. Oh yeah. I heard that. have built-in hoovers. 
I think they're a little pickier than that, but I get I I get what you mean though. Careful, still there. All right, clear outside. So Chicago Land is a very track position oriented track. I see that. He just looks sad. He's always uh has a sad look too. So imagine what all. Oh. Imagine what it looks like when he's actually sad. That is sad. Poor boy. He knows how to play you. He is a master of psychological warfare. In a past life, he has committed very many war crimes by using his powers against us. Thirty-one point six, huh? Oh, Stephen, like, come on! Not like that. Let's put the fork in the garbage disposal. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. Wait, who is that? Oh, that's Greg Golding back there. Oh, I, I saw a red nose on his like, what is Christopher Bell doing back there? I thought he was in front of me. Yeah, well, he is. <laughs> he learns, too. My aunt, my aunt and uncle have three dogs. A little Pomeranian will just bark until the other dogs bark, making them think someone's at the door. Oh, man. Psychological warfare, man. Still there. Damn it, man. Every time I go up top. And sometimes he does it when he wants to lay there with the Still dogs. There. All right. Clear low. Seriously, every time I go up top, someone else goes low. Chat was an acceptable finishing position here. What will it take for you to say that we had a good race? I'm thinking top 10 at this point because I have barely cracked that. So we're pitting here in about 13 more laps. Mm, basically, lap 150. Now, precaution comes out. Ooh, game on. Win or you fail. Oh, man. Oh, mamma mia. That was a spicy checkup. Oof, duh. Careful, still there. I thought John Jackson was gonna go a lot faster than that. Ooh, duh. That was no bueno right there. know what hit, um what line uh timmy hill was using like seriously that that was both an inside and outside line so do not pass go do not collect 200 dollars. okay gotcha so i need to win i need to win this race in order to win your guys' hearts right
Like, is that what I'm? Is that what I'm understanding? Timmy Hill's a real goat. Timmy Hill is actually is like a really good driver. Give him some good equipment. I want to see how far he goes. Do you prefer the inside or outside? Uh, well, the thing is, he still took the inside when I was going to the outside. What's up, Du Bois? How are you doing today? Single digit or riot? Okay, well, damn. Okay. So we're having a repeat of last time. So ninth or better. All right. You know what? That's not impossible. Pit stop should be coming up here soon, so let's find out. Easy spots. Still there. All right, clear outside. So that's 13th right there. Justin Haley Halo. is up next. Still there. All clear. Really tight. Tight on that line. Need to start thinking about when we're gonna pit. Okay, Jeffrey Earnhardt, if I recall correctly, should be coming in this lap. Right? Or am I wrong here? Let's find out. Did I do my math correctly? Nope. Alright, so 13th right now. That's decent. Got past those two. We have Justin Haley, our teammate, in front of us. And then Christopher Bell just in front of him. And honestly, a top 10 is definitely doable here. Especially as we uh, get into this later run. Because that's when our car really starts coming alive. Lap traffic as well. Really playing a factor, you know? I guess no one's pitting early then. I wonder what the first stage was all about then. Because everyone had like different strategies there. I think they I think they're trying to make it the rest of the way, you know? Just hit the pace car, says Alpha Wolf. Yeah, you're right. Damn, why didn't I think about that about that before? Can I find the dog shampoo? Oh, you're gonna clean them right now? Okay. Just use yours, you'll be fine. Getting low on gas. Okay, here we go. Alright, um. Yeah, I think, uh, the. No. No, yeah. You're going too fast. Alright. That was a very abrupt stop, but you know what? We're doing this. Yeah, TA's on a whole nother level tonight. But yeah, Alpha, I'm doing really good, my dude. Thanks for asking. Um, I'm just making our final adjustments here for the final stop. I think by pitting early is going to really allow us a uh, quick water break. All right, there's Justin Haley. All right, dig, dig, dig. Dropped on the 18th, but you know what? That's fine. Are 
car there on your outside. Okay, maybe you're like 95% sober. Well, still, that's not a very, uh... There's still a little room for uh, wiggle room right there, you know? Uh, Du Bois, I use a controller, my guy. Yep, so in case you don't believe me, let me get into the next nice corner and you'll hear what I'm talking about. What the war? Which, by the way, Chad, thank you all so much for stopping on out. See, you hear that? All controller. You guys are awesome. Thank you all for watching me turn left and run in 13th. This is the x Championship mode, in case you don't know. Uh, we com already completed the uh, Truck Championship mode a little bit ago. Uh, in these past two days, so we still have the Xfinity and Cup side of things and now with all 18 of you guys Well, thank you all so much for being here. You know this whole time we've been uh, We've been naming goats Patton is the real goat. Oh my god. T.A. you are oh shucks I'm trying to buy your way into mod Okay, my Carmen, what are you doing here again? A very Timmy Hill like line doing both. Briscoe was turning right more than he was turning left. Dude, he was literally rim riding that entire wall. It was awesome. It was awesome to see, but it sucked to see the result. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we're talking about Mountain Goat or Billy Goats, says Alpha. I like that answer. I like that answer a lot. It's time. I need a tag team partner. Tag team for what? Oh my god. Well, I remember the first time you banned someone, man. You were you were just like, oh my god, my first ban. <laughs> it was there. I was there. Um, for a second, I thought I was like, "Yeah, I was the one he banned." No, I, I know, I know who th that guy was. Well, that's a wall there. Ah, oh, man. The only time. Well, the thing is, I think we have a very calm chat where there's not a really a whole lot mis a lot of, whole lot of misbehavior here. I'll ban the wall. I mean please do. You yeah, banned a lot of people in spirit. Oh my god. Be honest. And this goes, this goes for everyone in chat. So all of you guys watching. Has there ever been a person, like, in a stream that you just literally wanted to ban? Or are you guys pretty passive and just like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Down here in 26. Or, let me rephrase that question. Has there ever been someone in a chat room where you've literally just been like, oh my god, shut up, my dude? I just said uh, Patton should do a Joy Logano uh, hate stream. <laughs> I, and then I changed it to Denny Hamlin. If you ban everyone, no one can misbehave. See, Du Bois gets it. There was this one guy in a channel that I mod and I really wanted to ban him. Well, you know, mods have ban power, right? 
or was it was he like a uh that I had to wait until the channel owner finally had enough though well see the thing is david if there is someone you think is causing a uh like an issue like you have that power man What's up, Kid Gaming? How are you doing today? No, you haven't been here in a while. Just in time. We have a little over 40 laps left. Chad Fincham, what are you doing? Been a fan since he came into NASCAR. Oh, for Logano? Yeah. I've seen someone causing an issue in here. Oh, you never... Oh, you ne okay. I see. I skipped over the word never. I'm, I was about to be like, whoo. Other than that one dude advertising... Clear high. Clear something. High. <laughs> I'll pull for precedent. I've been doing good. Oh, honestly, I've been doing all right, man. We just got done with the truck championship mode um, a couple days back. Or li well, literally yesterday. It's all up on YouTube now, so uh, shameless self-plug. Um, and we have, uh, and now we're working on the Xfinity Championship mode as well as the Cup side of things. I'm a little behind schedule, so, uh, we're going to try to make up for most of it next week. Uh, should we patent the precedent? I mean, uh, it's up to you, man. Oh my god, David, thank you so much for the, uh, for the, another gifted sub, man. That makes the grand total of 50. Welcome to the sub club, Alpha. I had a VIP whose real name was General Grant. Oh my god, that's awesome. History FTW. It's official you lost two dogs, uh, two dogs. <laughs> It's official. I've lost two dogs. <laughs> Oof. Man, my reading skills. I am not definitely not the best when it comes to uh <laughs> to uh racing and reading at the same time. <laughs> uh it sucks that you lost two uh bottles of do dog shampoo, my bad. Band streamer for self <laughs> promotion. Yeah. So you have five wins in career mode. Nice, man. In the 48. Oh, man. Now we know who's going to take over the 48. I fixed my luck in the 48 with pit stops. Hey, there you go, man. Congrats, man. Keep it going. You can use Dawn Dish Soap. Fan of Logano is a friend of mine. There we go. Yeah, seriously, David, thank you so much. 50 gifted subs. Take the apron, because why not? I mean, yeah, but now it's just... Now it's just annoying. Enjoy the emotes, man. Uh, I think we all know uh, David's personal favorite. I'm always looking to get more, uh, get more ideas for emotes. There's still a tier three, um, a tier three sub uh, emote that I actually need to fill on out, and I would gladly take ideas. You should, you should put it over fifty. That was a little dirty. Joey Gase was not actually clear there yet. It's 
So, bad news. There's Jeffrey Earnhardt, the leader. Good news. Uh, quite a long ways until Christopher Bell. The motor uh, was a 6.6 .6 liter. Smokey, uh... Oh, I see. Can I have a question of the day? Yeah, what, what's your question today? All right, you're clear. The meaning behind everyone using here's the names go. Private. Well. Okay, so meaning behind everyone's usernames. You know mine, right? Because when I was a Call of Duty elite gamer, I was, well, I, I was always into history, okay? And I was uh, Call of Duty, and when I got my PS3 uh, and wanted to go play Call of Duty, I had to create a username. I'm just like, well, what's the first rank that I'm going to start with? And it's going to be, well, Private. And who is my favorite World War II general? Patton. So, Private Patton. Bam. Wolves are my spirit animal, and, uh, and first use this uh, back in Black Hawk Down game. First uh, real game you played. There we go, man. Sentimental value right there. Actual race number in real life is 24. And I've always been called the kid. There we go. Makes sense. Du Bois is my last name. Okay, let's see. This is a really good question of the day. Let's keep it rolling. Found the dog shampoo. That's not the meaning behind your name. I mean, it's good that you still found it, but... But, yeah. Mine was, uh, less cool. I was in sixth grade, and... I was in sixth grade and 12 years old when I made it. I mean, it makes sense. Nobody could change it uh, to Dark Shampoo 2 and no one would suspect a thing. I mean, I would suspect a thing. I'd be like, where the hell? I'd be confused as hell. What are you what are you talking about? <laughs> but now you have unleashed hell. And now you know where the dog shampoo is. Now you're gonna find the sock that you lost in third grade. Okay? You're gonna find the homework that you thought you completed, but you actually didn't. Is the green flag from here or do you uh, need stops? Oh no, I'm good the rest of the way. Um, but if a caution comes out, we are 100% fitting. No, no if, ands, or buts about it. But yeah, we, we uh, can technically make it the rest of the way. Right, here's Stephen Light. Make it to the outside of him. We are a little bit loose. There's Justin Allgaier will be the points leader after this race because he is just demolishing this field. Well, I mean, well, Jeff Earnhardt's doing that, but here he is. What's up, Nina? How you doing today? Actually, I am still missing a sock from the Drunken Adventure of Halloween 2014, so there you go. Let him go. And apparently... Wait, is that... With clout socks as well, like clout. I read that as clout as the first time, and it's like that doesn't make any gosh dang sense. But okay, I'll roll with it. Also, another fun fact: every uh, major event between my wife and I contained number two. Huh? Really? Anniversary, wedding date, or first meeting? All that too? Really? And that's just weird, right? And, and like, it's like the stars and the earth is trying to tell you something. The 
There is no accidents, I guess. Still there. Clear high, bud. I'd be more worried if I woke up with my pants on. Well, yeah, that means that, like, okay. Either I was flat out wasted last night, or someone put me here. Let's pick, or both. All two kids, uh, two kids' birth dates, too? Wow. And neither were born in February. Wow. That is weird. The universe is trying to tell you something. Two, I guess, is just your lucky number. Favorite driver is 22. Break the, <laughs> break the cycle. Break the cycle. Don't let the world rule you. You got to rule the world. Whoa, let's calm down there, Kid Gaming. But yeah, Nina, how you doing today, man? What brings you to our humble stream on this lovely Saturday evening? Brandon Jones. I have no idea if I'm the lucky dog still or if Jeffrey and I lapped uh, Christopher Bell. Oh man. Yeah, I was about to hit that wall there. I had to check on up. We're in 12th right now with 15 laps to go. Just took a wake shower and then gonna chill before bedtime? Well, hey man, that's what we're here for. We have 15 laps to go. Hopefully we can actually get a caution, maybe get back on the lead lap. But I don't know, Jeffrey Earnhardt is plowing through this field, so I highly doubt it. I highly doubt that we're the last one on, uh, or the first one, uh, one lap down. My question today, uh, do any of the chat race in real life? Um, I do not race in real life. I wish I did, though. Like, that has always been on my bucket list, is to uh, race at my local, uh, my local track. By my calculations, you're about 5.5 seconds. Dang, dang, David does it all. He's a mathematician over here, saying if I should or should not be the uh, lucky dog right now. All right, you're clear. My super scientific one Mississippi calculations. Well, I had that there's even going to be a yellow anyway, so I don't think it actually matters. Oh, here's Timmy Hill again. Still there. Clear high, clear high.
seven seconds by my calculations. I see um, chat's moving a lot, uh, really fast. So like, I know I'm not catching everyone's uh, everyone's reactions, but I am reading them because we have two different conversations going in chat right now. It's hard for me to keep up. We're all crew chiefs. Well, honestly, I think this is just gonna be a battle between me and Brandon Jones for 12th right now. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. Yeah, listen to your crew chiefs. With confusing calculations. I actually went so low I hit the grass there. We're good though. We still are holding momentum. Oh, that was actually the apron there. Well, don't hit that. It's done. All clear. All right, so let's just focus here. Seven laps to go. Got a car high now. Hit the apron All again. Clear. Okay, well, let's just stop doing that and we're good. There we go. That's a good. That's a good lap right there. All right, so six to go here, or really five to go. Brandon Jones is easily trying to get up here. And I can guarantee we're no longer the first car one lap down. Yeah, Christopher should be that place now. But it's good that we're actually keeping tabs on him. But the thing is, all of our other competitors, you know, competitors are in front of us. Michael and Nett. Justin Haley is back here, yes. But Justin Allgaier, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Bell. You know, we have people to worry about. I just want to have a good rest of the season. Ah, oh, damn it! I knew that was going to happen. Uh, if only we were just a little bit faster. Now I'm going to be 12th. I'm going to be 19th if I pit. Oh, I'm going to man the outside. It's going to suck. Okay. All right. Um, well, if I pit, I'm going to go all the way to the back. Who up and died? Uh, Matt Mills. Good talk. The game waited until you lost the lucky dog to throw a caught. Yeah, I mean, that's just my luck, honestly. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. All right, so we're on the inside, so that's good. That's good. Copy to the green. I mean, we're not going to gain any Ready. positions, but we're definitely going to defend well. All right, dig driver. Hard from the outside. Outside. Two laps to go. Still there. Outside, outside. All right, just got to... 
really hold my line. And we'll be good. Watch Jeffrey Earnhardt lose this race now. No, we're coming to one to go. He should be fine now. I'm just saying, but watch that. Uh, that would be absolutely awful. Oh, my God. Brandon Jones. Okay. You know what? That's fine. He's going to be on the outside. We should be fine here. All clear. Yeah. There we go. Coming off of four. You know what? Jeffrey Earnhardt, congrats to him. Wins this race, and we come on P12. Even if you pit, I still finish 12th. Exactly. Ugh, 100 speed rating. I felt like there was a lot better than that, but okay. I mean... 12th is not that bad. I mean, okay, sorry. Sorry, chat. The reason I'm not joining in the whole conversation here is that, like, I do not know anything about baseball. It is completely foreign to me. Um, 12th, man. Man. All right, whatever. Christopher Bell finishing 10th. Good job to him. Oh, wait. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone here. Christopher Bell got the lucky dog and still finishing in front of someone? What? Did I miss something? Was he just that good? Well, it's taken into consideration for the speed rating. What? Oh, what is taken into consideration? That's what, okay. This is where we get put into the wall by Tyler Reddick. Yeah, I had nowhere to go. Literally, I was put into the wall there. Um, I lost so much ground. Um, what's put into consideration for speed rating is difficulty and where you finish. Overall lap times. And since I... Well, I'll, I'll just show you here in a second. Good job to Jeffrey Earnhardt. Points, where are we at? Um... Oh my god. It, it, holy mamacita. Okay, so we're in 469. We're in fourth right now. Okay, perfect. Awesome. We're a long way away from uh, Justin Allgaier, who gained a considerable amount on us. However... We are within 16 points of 8, so we need to start stepping it up here. With our three wins, we need to start getting a little more consistent. Uh, Justin Allgaier with a... Oh my god, a 30.5? <sighs> I don't even know. Jeffrey Earnhardt, good job to him. Christopher Bell starting from the back start and finishing 10th with the top 10. Nice job. And Brandon Brown, well, he was the cause of the first caution, so it makes sense why he's not there. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to show you all the settings that I was running with. Uh, 21st in New Hampshire. God, I forgot that race was uh, so bad. In my season, Tyler Reddick has zero wins, but was leading in points, even at, over uh, races with multiple wins. And honestly, that just comes down to consistency. But I know we're going to be good at Watkins Glen, Mid-Ohio, and Road America. So I'm excited for these three races because I know we are going to be competitive. Damn near good enough to win. So I guess we'll find out. Um, here's a setup. Uh, set, setup. I always say that. Settings I was running with. it. Speed rating takes in, into account how difficult... Um, your settings are and it usually is pretty good like this right here is the hardest difficulty I could find uh, no uh, pre no aids whatsoever and of course 105 difficulty can't go higher than that and 100% race length all that fun stuff here and then I was also racing with a default setup so yeah winning Glenn well it would definitely make up from the Cup Series, where I didn't win at the Glen, and we all know how that occurred, and that was literally one of the reason, one of the races that will forever be known as the one that got away. 
so yeah, what do we have here? We have 36, 37 points to um, to Justin Allgaier. We definitely need to start making it up here. But we are within 13 of 8, so we definitely need to start kicking up. But I'm I'm confident here that with Watkins Glen, Mid-Ohio, and uh, Road America, we're going to be fine. So, yeah. I can say I remember that race. Yeah, that was... Whew. Like, looking at that race right there, second. We were 